There is a beautiful elephant, and yes, Taylor, I do have a fancy hat. It's fancier than yours, and you'll just have to live with that. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I'm sitting amongst the grass there. I'll tell you that the storm is still coming up, but we're rather closer to home than we were before, and so I'm not that terrified of it at the moment. You may also still be able to hear the odd winding noise, and that winding noise, of course, is the forerunner of the storm. Um, if we can pan, if you don't mind, Fergus, to the right-hand side, you will see that this clearing is actually very full of elephants. Lots and lots of them. I'm going to have to move the car, Ferg. Sorry, there's somebody trying to get past us. Sorry about that, everybody. Remember, send your questions and comments. Hashtag Safari Live. And we'll do our level best to answer anything you'd like to ask us. Well, within reason, of course. Jasper, I'm not sure I've heard from you before, so thank you for sending through a question. You say you also were hoping to see Ellie's. Well, here you go. And they're really rather easy to spot here, of course, because they don't tend to hide in the trees. I suspect during the night they head more into the trees, but during the daytime they come out and they feed on the grass here. And so we see quite a lot of them. Project Alpha, I'm not sure what you mean by this. You say Mara LEC seems so much more antisocial than the ones up at the Kruger or in the Kruger. Um, Project Alpha, I'm not sure what you mean. Would you like to clarify slightly? I mean, they live in herds. Uh, the herds are roughly the same size. Um, they seem relatively close to each other. You know what maybe you mean is that they spend time further away from each other than they would perhaps in uh, in the Kruger. And I think probably what you'll find is the reason for that is that they can see each other more easily here. They don't need to be quite so close to each other. So I think maybe that's why, you know, because of the security offered by the open space, they can see any th potential threat that there might be. Whereas, of course, in the thicker bush that we have around South Africa, well, it's just not quite the same. So I think uh, everything is fine. With these elephants, I think they are well, just as social, just as pleased to be around each other as all the others. Marvellous. The trees that you can see in the background there are of a tributary that leads down into the Mara River. And it is that kind of, I guess, what they might call a long zaga. I think what you'll find is that that is the boundary of the Angama Pride of Lions, or certainly close to it. We're hopefully going to pop along and see them just now. Project Alpha, you say, have clarified. You say it seems that they don't come to us to visit us quite as much. Again, I think that you will find that that is a function of space. Because we don't, well, first of all, we don't drive off-road very much here at all. Um, and so we don't we don't approach them quite as closely, but also because the area is more open, we see them more easily than we would at a place like Juma, and we see them more quickly than we would there, and so they're inevitably going to be slightly further away. And because they have space to move in, often they were, you know, they just don't have to come towards us to to go where they're going. But sometimes in a place like the Kruger, you know, there are bushes and trees and stumps and thickets and things in the way. And so you happen to be, you know, if you're in an open area where you can see where they're moving, uh, the chances are that they're moving in that area for a reason and that there aren't many other places to move, if you know what I mean. I do think there is an element, though, definitely, that in the private reserves, the small private reserves like Juma, what happens is that the animals do become that much more habituated uh, because they have a much more intimate experience of human beings, which, of course, means that the experience 
that we have of them is that much more intimate than it might be, say, in a place like this. But I think you'll find that the more time we spend here and the more we get to recognize individual animals from the herds and from the prides of lions, etc., I think the more you'll find that, that intimacy uh, that we have conjured or not conjured, developed and um, nurtured over the years and at Juma will develop here too. But remember, Juma's been going as a Safari Live destination for, well, nine years. Right, now I believe that Tristan has found something that we do not find over here. And that means, of course, well, it's one of my favorite antelope. And so I ask you very kindly to go and say, a fond, fond greeting to the Nyala with Tristan. <laughs>